October the 6th, 1973, Egyptian President Anwar Sadat and Syrian President Hassaf al-Assad launch a coordinated surprise attack on Israel. 11 days later, on October 17th, King Faisal of Saudi Arabia, a cautious monarch who has resisted using oil as a weapon for years, announced that OPEC would cut oil production by 5% each month until Israel withdrew from occupied territories. More dramatically, Arab oil producers declared a complete embargo on oil shipments to countries supporting Israel, primarily the United States and Netherlands. Oil prices quadrupled practically overnight from $3 to $12 per barrel. Gas stations ran dry. Americans sat in mile-long queues for hours. Perhaps you remember that, Jeremy. Sometimes fighting over fuel. President Nixon imposed a national speed limit of 55 miles an hour. Christmas was cancelled. Christmas lights were banned. And that led to Exxon and their corporate lab in New Jersey, getting a 30-year-old British Oxford and Stanford graduate called Stan Whittington. Whittingham, to, right? Whittingham. Whittingham to research what happens if the oil runs dry. And that led him to battery research. And that was the beginning of the electric stack. 